what is it like running out on the field right now? No fans, middle of COVID-19 protocols all over the place. What is it like for you right now, Charlie? Um, at first, it was really different. Um, but I'll say this. like Baseball players can get used to almost anything if they do it enough, right? Like guys keep throwing harder and harder and harder, but like you still can't throw a fastball by some of these guys. You know, if you see it enough, you can make that your new normal. Um, and so our new normal is really weird compared to last year. Um, but the, the one thing I will take away from it is it's a, it's a super intimate game now. If you have the opportunity to, like, tune in, you should check it out. Like, it's there's there's no, like, ambient noise. You know, when when our third baseman, Aaron Arnauto, makes a great play, I can be like, hey, Nolan, you know, great play. And he can look back and be like, thanks. You know, like, it's weird that he can hear me all the way across the field. <laughs> Um, it's just super intimate. You got your, you know, your teammates are the only people screaming. And I mean, it's, it's, it's more like you're just playing for your teammates instead of, um, instead of for the fans, which, you know, everything should be about the fans. But if there's one thing that's, you know, also important, it's, it's the teammates you're playing for. Of course. And then, and, and, you know, staying healthy for your teammates, uh, and doing the right thing to do that, uh, is important. And I want to get to that in a second. Do you want to get to you first? Um, you did get COVID nineteen, and uh, I have you. Do you have any lingering effects of of having had COVID nineteen, Charlie? Rich, I think I'm a hundred percent recovered. I, I wouldn't chalk anything that I'm feeling up to a lasting uh, effect from the COVID virus. And you know, I'm lucky to be in that position. Uh, but my experience of the virus was that it wasn't that bad. Um, but I know that there's, you know, not everybody is young and in pretty good shape and going to bounce back as quickly as I have. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like based on my experience, it was tough to see how much our culture has changed to dodge this virus. But, you know, based on other people's experience, that kind of makes it, uh, a little bit, um, makes me understand why we're we're changing so much because it can be so dangerous because it so, can I mean, be not too bad what it was what do you mean by dodging it and and the difficulty and what do you mean by that what you said um, a minute ago you know like I, like I felt sick for a couple of days right and I you know I think it's you know if it was up to me I wish I could have got it you know at the beginning of spring training and then we just had a normal baseball season um but not everybody's experience is going to be like that right like you can't just assume that everybody's going to bounce back and be okay uh, you do have to, you know, prepare and try your best to keep the at-risk people healthy and safe. Charlie Blackman of the Colorado Rockies here on the Rich Eisen Show. So are you, how, how often are you guys being tested? Are you different because you've had it or what, what, what's that about? Walk me through your, your protocol. Our protocols moment. are pretty strict and they're getting even more strict because we've had a few positives pop up. Mm -hmm. But we test at least every other day. Uh, and they're doing a good job of getting that those tests turned around very quickly. And then, I mean, we're we're wearing masks everywhere except for like when you're actively eating or drinking, in which case you're socially distant or you're on the field playing the game. You pretty much have to wear a mask everywhere. They have mask police walking around the locker room. They have to, you know, like their only job is to like make sure that you're wearing your mask. Uh, you know. A lot of what I do to prepare for the game is changing. Like, I can't scout like I used to scout. I used to go in there and sit on the computer and, you know, pull up all the database. Like, you can't do that anymore. No no uh, communal computer stations. You know, I have to do it all from, like, my personal iPad. Um, they've made it more difficult in the training room. Uh, you know, everybody's wearing gloves. They have to – if you get in the hot tank on the road now – the hot tanks are usually like a one, like a one big tub, right? For one person, if you get in the hot or cold tank and you get out, they have to like drain all the water out, fill it right back up. I mean, they're we're doing our best to try and keep everybody safe. Do you feel safe? I honestly, I feel safe. Like if you're asking me, you know, I I'm not trying to make a huge statement about opting out or anything like that, mm -hmm. but I do know that I feel very safe, you know, here with these protocols and all this testing um, and, and having, 
uh, a highly trained medical staff, like taking care of me, I feel probably more safe, you know, here doing what I'm doing rather than, you know, at home. Like when I was at home, it was, I was struggling to find a place to test, you know, I was struggling to get in front of, um, someone who wasn't associated with the team that could help me medically in this situation. So I, I feel really safe. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.